Coogan Cassius, IFL TV here in Newcastle, uh, head of the Rampage show uh, this week, live on Box Nation with me. I've got Glenn McCrory. This is your home place. <laughs> this is it, I'm mate. here. This is it. Can we see your house yeah. from here? I'm just over there. Just, Do you live just, under the bridge? That's my bridge. <laughs> you, are you the troll bridge. under the bridge? Just, just further over, there's a little place called Jesmond on the edge. Yeah. And I've got a, I've got a, I live there. This is home McCrory. Home McCrory. Now, Glenn, obviously I'm going to be out a couple of nights up here. So if I get into any ag, will your name get me out of trouble, yes or no? No, my name will probably get you thrown out. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Could be. Well, they might ask me for money, I don't know. <laughs> they might say, you no, guys, no. mate, right, you most, are... Most places you'll be, you'll be all right. In the northeast, you get a very I'm going to tell him you're my dad. A very <laughs> I'm going to tell you're my dad. <laughs> well, that's not, I'd be proud to be your dad. Yeah, would you? Yeah, I'll be your dad this be. weekend. Where were yeah. you? Were you? Nobody would doubt it. <laughs> Nobody would doubt Where it. Where were you around 1981? 1981? Yeah. Probably at school. Yeah. yeah. I was a boy, I was a young man, you know. <laughs> Let's just talk about this show. Uh, big time boxing's coming back to the North East, coming brilliant. back to Newcastle. It's uh, brilliant. We've got a world title fight here, straight on the back of last week's uh, yeah. activi activities at Wembley. Uh, I've got to say, boxing, big time boxing is coming back everywhere. Yeah. Because the, the great thing that Brotsko has proved to us is that you know boxing is, is alive and well and stronger than ever. And the Olympic Games was a tremendous triumph for, for boxing in these countries and you know in the British Isles and Ireland. And now we've got now we've got big fights in Newcastle, which for me is great. I've been wanting this, you know, it's 25 years, a couple of days ago since I won the world title. And Stewie Hall is the first champion since then. And you know, it's been under the radar for far too long and we want to get this area back up and in, in a hotbed for boxing and with Stewie that's the that's this is the time to do it and there's good other fighters John Lewis Dickinson is on the bill Bradley Saunders you know he'd be my pick for a future world champion as well uh, so so this region's it's back mm. uh, Paul Butler jumping weights to uh, fight for this title uh, very very good talent and, and prospects is Paul Butler and is he ready for a world title sh you know he's a, he'll he'll say he is he's a very confident young man he's a very He's a very good fighter, got a lot of talent. They think very highly of him. Uh, my, my, my concern would be that this is coming a bit too quick in his career. And you know, it's very easy to underestimate Stewie Hall. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything, anything too dramatic. He's just a good, solid, tough pro. And you know, he's got the title now, and I know what it means to him to have that title, and he doesn't want to give that up. Mm. Um, it's, it's interesting, it's, this whole uh, bantamweight mix, obviously, there's Jay McDonald who won a WBA title the other night as well, so it's thriving here, isn't it? Especially at that weight as well, which has suddenly oh, come alive in the last year or so. brilliant. Jamie, Jamie was superb, you know, in a, in a tough, tough fight, coming back and, and getting a knockout. Um, so that's great. So now we've got, you know, two guys who fought each other before as world, as world champions. So that brings a lot of glamour into the division, doesn't it? And it also brings the appeal for that rematch and I know Stewie wants it I know Jamie wants it so you know that's a fight that that really got to happen Shh, you know but first of all Stewie's got to come through Saturday at the at the Newcastle Arena and it's it's no easy fight it's a tough fight you know and hopefully he can drag it up drag it up and and come through a winner and keep that championship. Mm. I mean, some great fighters in the build from up this way. Obviously, Bradley Saunders, the Olympian, he's fighting. He's on the verge of possibly fighting for a British title soon. So, um, you know, and Josh Lever, there's, there's a ton of these guys that are up here that are going to get the chance to showcase their talents. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I think it's not long. It's not long before, you know, I mean, for me, a great fight with Bradley Saunders, Frankie Gavin. You know, and I think, I think Bradley Saunders, you know, they're probably on the GB together. They probably sparred a lot. I think you know that that's a that's a cracking fight. Now Bradley Saunders is is probably our the best of the the rising talent coming through from the northeast. And I definitely you know I'm not I don't think I'm being silly by saying that. I think he's definitely got world title potential. Mm. And uh, John Lewis, as you mentioned before, obviously improving all yeah. the time. You know, good cruiserweight had he took his knocks and went from and come back and went from strength to strength. So John Lewis is becoming a more rounded fighter. And you know, you just wonder the cruiserweight division is there? A, is there a, a? Can they get him a shot at a, at a, at a title? You know, um, guys are looking for for fights. You know, I'd like to see him in the mix where you know, with Bellew and them sort of in those people. Um, you know, because he's a he's a good, improving young fighter. 
All right, well, listen, thanks for talking to us a little bit about the show uh, this week. Uh, are you going to be around this week? I most certainly will be, yeah. We'll be leading Stewie down into the ring again. Um, you know, very happy we're the, two, we're the only two world champions ever from the northeast of England. And it's a, it's a specialised little group that we're hoping to add a few more members. Okay. Well, listen, if the hotel chucked me out tonight... You'd come round uh, my place. I'll come round yours. No worries, mate. I Even if they don't, come round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Glenn. Thanks it's for talking to IFL TV.